So we are down to the last five days before we start examination, guys. Tell me know how you guys are feeling in the comment section below. I know a lot of you might be feeling tense, stressed. It's fine. Last five days and you've got this. We're gonna be talking about how you're going to revise for the BITSAT exam and how we should actually go about giving tests. And finally, we'll be talking about the mindset that you need to have before the exam. So let's just get started. We'll go about subject-wise, guys, because subject-wise, many people will be easily able to follow if I divide it between physics, chemistry, and mathematics. First, we'll talk about physics, right? Physics, if I tell you honestly, the questions are going to be from easy to medium in BITSAT physics. Don't need to be too stressed about it. And at the same time, have a formula list prepared. If you've not prepared a formula list, don't worry, we've got you covered. In the description, we will find a formula list that we've made for our students and you guys can use it. It's absolutely free. And at the same time, understand where you need to apply these formulas and try to see like if there's a new formula, can I see a question where this is applied so that I get an understanding, okay? Like this is how you apply this formula. It is going to be very useful for you. And let's say for a deleted chapter for J means I think semiconductors was deleted and saying certain parts of the deleted chapters, try to maintain some sort of short notes for it so that it'll be easier for you to revise it. And definitely you will find at least one or two questions from these deleted chapters. If you've not studied these chapters, do not go about studying them right now because five days is not enough time for you to go up and pick up a new chapter. But I would rather say that divide your topics into three different parts. Find what is, what is something that you're really strong in and divide them and try to focus more on that. And at the same time, if, you, if you're intermediate in some chapter, you can focus on that also. But if you're weak in some chapter, let that go. Because now I don't think you will have enough time to go about actually going about doing the questions and actually getting that mindset for solving them. So focus on your strength and your intermediate chapters. Coming to chemistry, chemistry NCRT is your bread and butter. It is the ultimate holy Bible for an exam like Bitsad. I would guarantee saying you that almost every question that you find in organic chemistry is probably going to come out of the NCRT textbook. If you have made short notes for chemistry, it's great. And especially for inorganic, if you made notes for it, do revise it. And we've made a formula list for chemistry as well. I attach it in the description. It's completely free. And at the same time, do not get stuck with the tough chapters say not physical chemistry guys because there are some very tough questions that you can find in ionic equilibrium or chemical equilibrium but there's a high chance that bits at me you'll maximum find one or two questions but if you feel like i don't have expertise in this chapter or i don't actually have enough knowledge about this go do not go about picking these chapters but focus on what you actually have focus on chemical bonding focus on coordination compounds understand what the strong field ligands are understand the weak field ligands try to understand the hybridization and what shapes you are going to get from these hybridizations and try to focus on the name reactions of organic chemistry if you feel like you don't understand the mechanism of you if you feel like you don't understand how the products are actually formed from the reagents and reactants it's fine at least mug up the organic chemistry name reactions it will be useful for you for sure because the name reactions are some of the most commonly asked questions in the bizarre examination let's come down to the most scared topic that most people have which is people are really scared about mathematics so how should you actually go about doing mathematics the the, the questions at bizarre for maths are generally straightforward Generally, they in the chapter after like coordinate geometry, they'll ask you to find the values of A, the values of B in hyperbola or an ellipse, and then they'll ask you to find the focus, and then they'll ask you to find the reflection of a point about a line. And these kind of questions are basic to do and is easy as well. And sometimes, and sometimes, even though it's not mentioned in the bit side syllabus, there might be questions about tangents and normals. It's highly unlikely, but then I think you should go about the formulas at least once and most of the questions in integration they can be solved by bringing it down to a standard format can we bring it down to a format of integral of dx by x square plus a square or integral of dx by root over a square minus x square and bringing it to a standard form so that i can apply that formula and get the answer and you'll find you'll be able to solve many other questions using that and especially in definite integrals try to understand the various rules there are 10 12 different rules that you can use in different integrals, especially rules like Leibniz rule, you'll find it, you'll find questions coming from that also. So don't skip the integration parts, just understand how you can go about solving different questions. It'll be very, very useful for you. Let us come to the second most important part of the video, which is mock test. Where are mock test cars are and what should you actually do to give the best mock tests out there? Yes, guys, this is exactly why we have come up with Bitsat Bus for you guys. Bitsat Bus is a mock test series and a great community for you guys. 
to come and solve questions and ask doubts and get everything clarified by mentors who have gotten amazing scores in bitsat of the previous years i got i'm hari and i got 340 in bitsat in the 2019 bitsat and at the same time we have several other people who are willing to mentor you and guide you and coach you so that you can do really really well in bitsat and by doing these mock tests you understand how do i actually have a great speed for attempting questions and how do i actually go about solving 130 questions in 3 hours you'll get that temperament for bitsat and you'll get that understanding of okay this is how i actually go about doing these many questions in such a short time how do i choose the right questions how do i leave the questions and what chapters should i actually solve the questions in and this is this is something that you get only by doing mock tests and this is where we come and we try to help you as much as possible so to check out bitsat busted uh, we'll see you in the community there और तीसरा और सबसे मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज इज टू हैव द राइट माइंड सेट बिफोर द एग्जाम एंड पीपल आज भी माइंड सेट क्या होता है वाइज वाइज माइंड सेट इम्पॉर्टेंट यार तुम लोग दो साल से प्रिपेयर कर रहे हो यू वर्टन एटलीस्ट हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ एग्जाम्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग सीरियसली एटलीस्ट एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी सिक्सटी एग्जाम्स यू शुड गिवन है एंड मॉक टेस्ट इन बिच आर बसेज वी हैव लाइक फिफ्टीन मॉक टेस्ट सो दैट फिफ्टीन मोर राइट सो The thing is, you will have a lot of scores in your head, and a lot of people telling you that this is the amount score that you are going to get. This is the rank predictor. This is your score predictor. But to be very honest, what you do do on the examination day, it really really matters a lot. And there are some people who actually go to the exam and they do really well because they were having more energized, they were having a right mindset at the end, at the examination. Whereas some people they get scared, they get nervous, they get anxious, and because of that, their performance drops. and they don't actually do well the way they were supposed to so make sure to have a clear calm cool mind and do not think of your j main score do not think of your j main percentage like don't think of your board exam criteria don't think of your eligibility criteria don't think of anything else but your ability to solve the 130 questions in 3 hours that's the most important thing and how you go about solving it and how you make the best out of those 3 hours that's what depends and changes everything So in order to do that you need to practice you need to have mentorship and you need to have the right preparation in the next one month or at least for the next 5 days and un- before that even if you don't do really really well in bits at first attempt bits at second second attempt is always there for you so yes keep preparing keep hustling i'll see you in the next video i'll see you in the community as well bye bye